I'm Richard Mann and this is Gunsight Instructor Eric Ingersoll. You know, a lot of people have a AR-15 and they think they know how to shoot it, but very few people know how to actually carry one. And Eric, you know as a police officer, you spend a lot of time with your hands on the guns when you're not actually shooting it. So it's important to know how to carry it. And at gun, gun sight, you all teach, I think, three uh, ready methods or carry methods. Could you, could you walk us through those? Sure, Richard. We, we teach three carry methods. Each one of the methods can be adapted to whatever environment you have to be in at the time. Okay, so I'm going to start out with your basic what we call low ready or ready position. That is your pretty much go-to position. The gun's going to be tucked into my shoulder and I'm going to be at the ready position. I have a view of my threat area. This is what you're going to use the majority of the time. I simply bring the gun up to my eye to fire and I can move and search accordingly. Okay, so what if we're like indoors or operating around a lot of people? Okay, so we have our close ready position, and that's good for if you're around people, like you said, or around, you know, in a tight environment or right. something like that. In this case, I'm going to take the back of my hand, I'm going to put it against my thigh, okay? If you notice, my muzzle is about 12 inches outboard of my foot. I have the stock about midway up in my chest, okay? So this enables me to move and do whatever I need to do. Now, to get out of the close ready, I could just sweep up here and try and engage a target. Yeah, but your buddy might get upset. The problem with that is I might flag the guy next to me or whoever it is, and I might oversweep the target. Right. So the method we teach to get out of close ready is I'm gonna bring the gun straight up to my eyes and snap it out. Perfect. Okay, straight up, snap it out. And there's another, there's a third position, right? That's correct. The third possession is the high ready. Okay, the high ready is good if you're moving in, you know, some type of vegetation, you have a wall you have to look over or anything like that. So the key to the high ready is I'm going to tuck it into my waist, okay, and I can pretty much have my muzzle aligned with where kind I'm looking. Kind of eyes muzzle target. Eyes muzzle yep. target, correct. So to get out of high ready, I bring the gun forward and snap it back in. Okay, I'm going to bring the gun forward and snap it back into my shoulder. Yeah, and I think that's a mistake a lot of people make. They just snap the gun up, but bringing it forward and pulling it back in helps you seat it and get, get on the gun the way you're supposed to be. That's correct. And it also, the, the purpose of that is to avoid snagging in any gear right. or clothing and stuff like that. So I'm going to bring it out and snap it back in, and I've cleared anything I need to clear. Hey, Eric, that's perfect. Thanks for sharing that with us. Thanks for watching, and when are you coming to Gunsight? Gunsight Academy, originally the American Pistol Institute, was founded by former Marine Jeff Cooper in 1976. It's the oldest civilian firearms training academy in the world with more than 50 instructors and 26 ranges covering 3,200 acres. Gunsight Academy trains thousands of civilians, law enforcement, and military personnel each year. Often called the Harvard of handguns and the Camelot of the Great Southwest, Gunsight is freedom's backbone.